gang, FLXP Reviews, back again with another episode of Near Beer, Non-Alcoholic Brew. Thing. I don't know what's swirling, but it's, it still it's sounds near weird. Beer. It does. We'll it. Get we're, we're not used to it. We're a couple uh, of jokers at this point. <laughs> yeah. As they say. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, we were lucky enough to receive a box of goodies from Athletic Brewing Company. Hey. And they're located out of Milford, Connecticut, and uh, San Diego, California. Yes. Yes. I believe. Uh, anyways. Um, so yeah, what do we got here? We haven't dove too deep into this realm. We, do you do the dry January? <sighs> no. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is their Run Wild IPA, and a lot of information all over the can. Yeah, great information. But uh, they don't describe like the hops or anything. But so we looked it up, and it says. Well, uh, they're probably busy out there <laughs> running and jumping yeah. and throwing discs and uh, things like that. It starts with a blend of Northwest hops and uh, it says Citra and Mosaic are at the forefront. What are the other uh, hops, Dan? I said Northwest hops. Um, anyway, secret. Uh, 65 calories for this can and uh, 14 great. grams of carbs, less than a gram of protein, water, <sighs> malted barley, breakfast. oats, hops, wheat, and yeast. So, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's check it out. Uh, we dove into one of their other offerings. Uh, delicious. So I'm really excited to see how this one's going to be. A hard pour. <laughs> I think you can do that with uh, these NA beers. You just let them eat. What do you call What do you call NA beers? Near beer. Near beer? Yeah. Is that your preferred That's term? That's what it's called. Yeah. It, so. Ow. They call it a non-alcoholic non brew. Brew. They're, they're telling us what it's called, but... We won't be shackled. <laughs> uh, so that looks uh, darker, watery, orange Kool-Aid. Uh, carbonation, like there's a couple bubbles floating up, but it's pretty still in there. It it looks like a West Coast jam. <laughs> yeah, it does. Nice uh, rocky, foamy head on it. Swirl, ooh, that swirls up nice. As we are wont to do. Yeah, it does. That's a good looking beer. I like it. Good work on this thing. Good. Ooh. All right. I'll tell you what. There's a little uh, hot bitterness in there. A little, uh, some tropical notes. Again, kind of subdued. <sighs> Less than 0.5% ABV, by the way. Uh, I should I, so. I, I'm saying that out loud. Because <laughs> to remind yourself as I was smelling like, it, I literally had the inclination to go, What was the ABV in this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, less than 8%. <sighs> so, okay, so it, yeah, session IPA, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be lighter, lighter. Um, the hops aren't just like all up in your face. It's not no. very stanky. No, not really. Um, I think there's hints of it, but it's really subtled. I guess I could say a little pineapple. <sighs> yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's, it, you gotta really dive deep. Yeah, you're, you're freaking with your mouth open style. So. Cheers. Thanks, Athletic. I'll tell you what. There's some, uh. West Coast IPA flavors in that. A uh, couple weeks old, by the way. Yeah, yeah. these are like packed out 310 2024. I'll tell you what, there is a little bit of uh, piney spruce notes to it. Some citrus. Mm. It's very, so the body is actually kind of full um, for this. <sighs> yeah, what's the ABV on this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, boy. It's all right. It's all right. So when I say it's all right, I'm basing this on any other IPAs I've had in the near beer. And sure. We've had the Sam Adams. Uh, right. Sam Adams. The haze or mind. just the haze yeah. or whatever it's called. Yeah, whatever. Just the haze. Yeah, you're thinking of cut through. Yeah, that. Jack Sammy. Um, and we've had a couple from Untitled Art. Yes. Yes. We had their East Coast versus West Coast. Yep. Um, oh, and the uh, Sierra Nevada one most recently, uh, the Golden Trail. Oh, oh, yeah, that's past. right. Okay. IPA. That Which, one. that was pretty good. That was good. Um, yeah. Kind of spritzy. Not mm -hmm. spritzy, but th there's a moderate amount of carbonation. Yeah, there's a bit of carbonation there breaking it up. Again, malt forward. The hops kind of play second fiddle to that malt. 
I'd, I'd prefer if they could somehow make the hops more pronounced and have those shine a little bit more. Um, I think back to, like, uh, I've had the Lagunitas, um, their hop water, the carbonated oh, yeah, hop okay. seltzer water. Okay. All hops up in your face. Just okay. like hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Um, Hoplark tea. We've done that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, it's good. It's serviceable. I just, I, I wish... The hops were a little bit more. Yeah, especially for the hops they use. Um, I like a little more citrus. Uh, I get, I definitely get a, a bitter, like fresh hop uh, notes to it. Uh, the malts are there. I still think it's serviceable. Like it tastes very pleasant. Mm -hmm. Just very subdued. Much like the aroma, I think it's just kind of like relaxed, settled down. Uh, maybe they just got done throwing the discuses and, you know, they're relaxing in the lawn chairs now. But uh, uh, it's, I think it's very crisp and clean. Uh, it, it drinks very easily. Uh, again, I mean, I'm just sitting there just drinking it. And I don't know if that's because I'm like, oh, there's no ABV to this thing. Uh, now that I'm drinking, it does, it, this, this one comes off a little watery. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, I'll give it like a out of five. I'll give it like a three point two five. Okay, I'm like three seven. Yeah, I think it's good. I, th I think it's, it's still a right. serviceable beer. I would. I'll tell you what. So far, I would love it in the mix pack with the other one. Yeah. Like if I was getting like three of each, I'd mix them up. Yeah. So all right, gang. Uh, until next time, link tree down below. Hit us up. Have you tried these? What do you think? Let us know. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. And uh, thanks, Athletic. Appreciate it. Cheers.